everybody, David Hevener here, and hey, I know everybody uh, recognizes this young man here. Huh? I don't know, with the beard. <laughs> I said it was Dan Haggerty, but said, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to introduce Mr. Johnny Whitaker. Yes. And Johnny has, I mean, you're a Hollywood veteran. Uh, yeah. Your claim to fame, uh, I know you did a lot of stuff, but your claim to fame was Family Affair. Johnny. That's what I'm mostly recognized for, right? Or mm-hmm. Sigmund and the Sea Monster. Sigmund and the Sea Monster. You did Tom Sawyer. And Tom Sawyer. Yeah. I mean, I grew up with you. <laughs> I grew up watching you. But anyway, I wanted to... First of all, I'm so glad you're on the show. Thank you. But I, I, I really want to ask you some very important sure. questions. You were a child star. Right. Yes. Yeah. You're still a star, but you were a child star. <laughs> Well, I'm now an actor. Oh, you're an actor, excuse me. But Before I was a, cha- a star, a, a, now I'm an actor. A, a thespian. Actor. Thespian. Gotcha. You know, I know that you had, you went through a phase, you know, I, and we're going to, I want to talk about that. But, sure. But before we do, I want to ask you, what is the one thing that brings, that can bring a child star down? If, if you could identify one thing, because you got friends that are child stars, I have friends that are child, I've interviewed a lot of them, what would you say the one thing would be? Bad parenting. Really? Absolutely. Bad parenting? Yes. So it's not Hollywood, it's not behind the scenes, it's not the audience uh, uh, waving palm leaves, and it's not the millions and billions of dollars, it's the parents. It's, uh, although my parents did not do well for me with the funds that they received on my behalf and which they spent on my behalf with, uh, but I was one of 10 people, eight, seven brothers and sisters, eight kids. You're either Mormon, Catholic, or careless. (laughs) <laughs> but um, what my mom and dad when I came home I didn't have to do as many chores as the other kids okay. but I still had specific chores that I had to do when I came home Okay. and um, because I was leaving at 7 o'clock in well about 6.45 to get to the set by 8 o'clock okay and then leaving there at 5, getting home at 6.30. So, you know, my day had been pretty busy. And, but I, they, I was still treated as one of the eight children. Okay. So, so where does the bad parenting come in? Uh, well, to play? now that she's gone... Um, your mother. No, well, my mother and my father. And your father. Okay. They... Um, they only gave me very positive, good, uh, you know, good work. And I think my mom and dad were very, very good parents. My dad, one of the greatest dads I could ever have hoped for. Okay. Right. Um, and my mother was a great woman. We, in the later years, had some strife and squibbles, but mostly about finances. Um, but where does the bad... Because I asked you... Well, about, you said parenting. Anissa Jones, okay. who was Buffy. Okay, yeah. She died in 1976. How did she die? Uh, drug overdose. Okay, all right, there you go. Paula Jones, who's now gone, uh, her mother, and I would not say this while she was living, only because, you know, I... I will let other people make that decision but unfortunately Paula has two children had two children mm-hmm. and both of them committed suicide wow okay so Paula uh, had two ch- and they were uh, child stars well basically. Anissa was the star yeah. Paul did a little bit of okay. extra work and some other stuff so it wasn't when I asked you about the one thing that'll bring a child star down and you said bad parenting it wasn't your parents who were bad it's you looking at other children who had bad parents. Or, or in my in, opinion. In bad parenting, okay. so And, and the look. main reason and um, is that Paula would say, well, in our education, we had three hours of school on the set, 
and she made sure that we did not talk about God. She was an atheist. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, and, and she just said, don't ever discuss God, whatever it is. When we were talking about the pilgrims, you have to talk about God. So the second thing, bad parenting, the second thing is leaving God out of the picture. Absolutely. Taking God, wow, Johnny, it blows my mind. Okay, so let's talk about you. You went through a phase of drug and alcohol, hit, hit, hit and bottom, and you shared some things with me. What was it that triggered you to, to go to the dark side? <laughs> no, I mean, Go but to the dark it, side. and we only have about uh, you know sixty seconds on okay. that one because I I know it's a but what was that one thing? What were you thinking that caused you to go off to into the drugs and alcohol? Well, I am a drug and alcohol counselor, okay, certified by the state of California. Oh, so that's what caused it, California. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what yeah. it could be. All right. No, but what I try well, with my my students or my patients, I try to find. A precipitating event. What is that precipitous event? What is that event that caused you to go from a normal drinker to a heavy drinker to an addict alcoholic? Okay. Um, and usually there's one or two events that happens. In my situation, it was a divorce, a death, and uh, some other situations which just... Um, caused me to say, I can't handle it, and I'm going <laughs> to the dark side, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> so <laughs> did anything, it, ha, being a child star, did that have anything to do with you uh, going into drugs and alcohol? If you hadn't have done that, would, you, would that still have happened? Well, I have to say that 